everybody. What an incredible night that was. We are going into the 22nd match of the night. We will be knocking one off the 50 round goal in between the 28th and 29th match, right before the Black Club main event. Introducing from the blue corner, David Mercado! Mercado making his way out, waiting for him to start making his uh, his entrance. I haven't quite seen him turn the corner out of the dressing room yet, but uh, he's, uh, there he is, working his way here now. This next match is going to be uh, Harold Bishop versus David Mercado. It'll be a no-gi match uh, with an EBI overtime round. Uh, should we not uh, get to a, a submission finish uh, before the end of regulation? Looks like David Mercado coming out of uh, Helian Gracie. Uh, either Panama City or Pensacola. He's got coaches from both gyms in his corner. Bishop coming out now, making his way to the mat. Looks like he's a blacksmith BJJ, it looks like, but about the, uh, the judges he has in his corner. He's coming out with a couple other competitors that are competing later on the card, as well as his coach getting ready to get in the corner ready to go for this match. Should be a fun one. Again, we're going no gi, EBI overtime. Should we not reach a submission in the regulation five minutes? All submissions will be legal for this match. This match is scheduled for five minutes. It is no G with the EBI rules. Money! How's that move for? This fight represents Hillary and Gracie, Panama City. Coming from Panama City, Florida, please welcome David McCall! David uh, Mercado is being warned before the match even starts from his corner to uh, be careful for his legs and to not play De La Hiva. They're warning him again now. We'll see how this goes. I expect David to sit. They're going to do some hand fighting early on here. Oh, flying arm bar attempt. Right into an, it's like, uh, like a modified Estima lock, it looked like. Uh, David on his own leg lock now. Her looks very comfortable here. He's peeling his legs and it's just going to return the favor and attack leg on his own. He's pretty high on the ankle right now, though. I bite both of them are, as a matter of fact. I don't sure they have a good angle to finish this year. David now has the better angles. He's working his way down towards belly down. He's not quite got it straight yet. He's still a little bit high on his calf. Not quite on the Achilles tendon yet. Both are willing to just continue to crank on each other's ankles at this point. See who makes the first move to try and come up. It's like Bishop's letting go of his own leg. He's back on it again. He originally let go. He's attacking the other leg now. Oh, David let go of his leg. Tells me that, that Bishop had a knee bar attempt here. Nope, he's out. Good job kicking the butt and getting his knee free. And guillotine attempt. Heads out. We're okay. 
It's like Harold's corner wanted a uh, one for slamming there, but the referee does not agree. We got about two minutes and 50 seconds left in this match. Had a good exchange there on the leg lock attempts early. Um, both fighters going for uh, their own version of ankle locks there, both in the 50 50 end from a, a more of a straight ankle lock. Harold Bishop's coach now calling for him to open his guard up and get to work. Kamora attempt here. So he's going to use his Kamora to, oh, and David used his opportunity when he opened his legs to jump over the guard, and now his arm's free from the Kamora. Very nice sequence there. He only went for that Kamora when he did open his feet to go do a, a hip bump sweep. Uh, David timed it beautifully, jumped over the legs, and freed his arm, was able to get a side control, but now he's back in the guard. David back on an ankle lock here again. Hill does not look particularly concerned with this ankle lock at this point. Davis coaches are uh, telling him to move on and try a different lock. Harold on his own ankle lock now, and they both let go of each other's legs. And Harold able to settle in a mount from that position. David got a little lazy coming out of that uh, leg lock exchange and allowed Harold to climb directly over his legs and to mount. Yeah. We've got a potential mounted triangle here. He's got one arm in, one arm out. Yep, his coach is calling for the mounted triangle now, but it, he threw the. He's got both uh, both arms out now. David comes up to the top. But he went to throw his leg through the wrong side. David on a lock here again, but he's super high on the calf. He's all the way under his calf, not, not on the Achilles like he needs to be. Spin, spins there. David playing guard now. Locks up close guard. Now David's coaches before the match here were warning him to be careful when he's in guard of his legs, particularly not to play Della Hiva because of it. It's like here. Oh. Got a chest compression going on. Dude's off that now. David's guard's open now. Harold willing to sit in there, continue where he's at. All right, we got time there. Okay, moving on to uh, EBI overtime in this match. David has won the toss and decided to attack first and attack from the back. David immediately tries to lock on this choke here, but he doesn't have it on the neck right yet. That's going to give a Harold a chance to, to escape. Harold's going to try and move this arm over his head and get his back to the mat. And he's going to turn. He is out. Harold chooses to take the back. It's a pretty quick escape there. 
and see how much uh, how fast David can get out. Discussion on getting their hand position just right so it's fair for both competitors. Did her, maybe it goes belly down here. It looks like Harold's able to stay with him for the moment. He's out. He's out. That's going to be really close on time, but I think David escaped faster to get the, get the win there. Very close. Good match in both of them. And David does it the victory. Good match. Good match from both of them. We've got UBI overtime there. So we see a lot of people go for those ankle locks. A lot of times they're just too high. It's hard to tell in the moment sometimes when you're not far enough down. If you don't, if you're too high up on the calf, you're not able to apply the pressure and leverage necessary to apply the braking pressure to get someone to actually tap. You're really kind of cranking on their calf. Uh, I think David a couple of times was a little too high. You can see from Harold, he wasn't really concerned with those attacks. But in the end, David able to, to get the victory with the fastest escape in uh, EBI overtime there. Uh, entertaining match for sure. We've got Simon Sainz and uh, Jonathan Dedman coming up next in the Gi, which will be a judge's decision match.